Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I just want to give you all a quick update on my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course. So I've recently updated the course, added more lectures, and we're currently sitting at over 50 hours of course content, which is a ton considering the fact that I am nearly halfway complete with finishing the course. Now, if you don't know or haven't heard of my multiplayer survival game course, you probably have by now as I promote it in pretty much all my videos, but basically we make a multiplayer survival game from start to finish inside of Unreal Engine 5. There's things like crafting system, harvesting system, where we can harvest trees, rocks, bushes, etc. for resources. A base building system where you can build your own base with different foundations, walls, all that stuff. You can create your own tribes or clans and raid other players. There's just tons of stuff that we make in this course and I haven't really seen any other Unreal Engine course with the same amount of content. Now the course is nearly halfway complete, like I said, with over 50 hours of content. And we are currently on chapter 13, where we create the open world map. And there's a total of 20 different chapters. Here's the actual outline, so you can see all the different things that we create. So like I said, we're on chapter 13, and we actually update our project to Unreal Engine 5.2. So originally the course was recorded in Unreal Engine 5.0, but we actually update the project all the way up to Unreal Engine 5.2, because I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to include PCG when we create the open world map. And so by popular demand, we're updating to Unreal Engine 5.2. That way we can use PCG to procedurally spawn things like our foliage on the map. So yeah, that's one of the big updates in the course that I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to. Now for the rest of the course, I will be working on ensuring forest compatibility. So the rest of the course will be in Unreal Engine 5.2, but for everything prior to that, I'm gonna be working on ensuring those who follow you know, in 5.1 or 5.2, any of the differences will be reflected in the actual lectures. So within the coming weeks, I'll be working on updating that. I already know a lot of folks are actually working or following the course in the latest version. And you guys actually get Discord access when you join the course. So you can talk with some of the other people following along in the course. But yeah, we only have about seven more chapters left before the course is considered complete. I don't plan on abandoning this course after all the chapters are complete. I still plan on adding additional content, which not a lot of Unreal Engine course instructors actually do. I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys asking me to add things like a backpack system where you can have you know, additional inventory slots. So there's tons of stuff that I can add as extra course content after we finish all of the main chapters. So things that I would love to add are things like a crop harvesting system where you can plant crops in a crop plot and it will grow over time and add you know, food items. Another thing would be cool to add is a turret structure that you can place down and if some enemy player gets near it, it'll shoot them. So just fun stuff like that, that would be cool to add as extra course content. And another thing that I just thought of is showing how to add, you know, cool cosmetic items. So maybe for certain holidays, sort of like how they have it set up in Ark. So they have different events for Halloween, Christmas, you know, 4th of July, maybe adding items like, you know, fireworks. I think that'd be some cool extra stuff to add. And yeah, anyways, as we get closer to finishing all 20 chapters of the course, I am planning on raising the price of the course since it will finally be complete. I mean, 50 hours of course content is a lot, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but compared to a lot of other Unreal Engine courses with 50 hours of content, you don't really create as much compared to, you know, having a building system, crafting system, clan system, all the stuff that we create here in the course. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff added and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the course, let you all know that it's almost finished and I am as just excited as pretty much everyone else here who bought the course since day one. I have a lot of other future course ideas in mind, nothing yet planned, but if you guys aren't necessarily interested in say survival games, but maybe you have some other game ideas in mind, maybe it's things like a first person shooter or something of that nature, I have a lot of other course ideas, so stay tuned for that because I plan on having a lot more courses on my website. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on my survival game course. Check it out. Link in the description below and pick it up before the course is finished because I will be raising the price since we are nearly complete. And yeah, maybe if you guys have any extra ideas on, you know, extra course content to add stuff that we can add after you know, we reach chapter 20 and finish all the main course content, leave it down in the comments down below. Also, maybe any future course ideas. 
other games that we can create. Let me know what you guys want to see. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.